Hello, and welcome to the Open3D Engine YouTube channel. I'm Alex Demarzin, a technical trainer with the AWS Game Tech team. Were you looking for an alternative method to installing O3DE? Then you came to the right place. In this video, we'll take a look at installing O3DE from the O3DE installer. Now, one last point before we begin, and this is in consideration for the open source nature of O3DE. The community is constantly making important updates to the engine. So check back often for more O3D related content. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the video. The instructions here assume that you've met all hardware and software requirements as listed in the O3DE systems requirements page. If you need additional help configuring the required software, please visit the following link. You can find the latest version of the installer from the O3DE download page, which can be found at the following link. Next, run the installer from your download location. During the developer preview, you might encounter the following warning from Microsoft Defender, describing the program as an unrecognized app. To proceed with installation, choose more info, then choose run anyway. Generally, you can find the default installation location on your hard drive. For me, my O3D folder is contained on my C drive, and contained within the O3D folder, there's a subfolder labeled with the O3D version number. For the sake of clarity, my installations can be found at the following directory path. If you'd like to change the installation location, choose the Options button. For now, let's click our Install button to start the installation process. During installation, the installer downloads additional packages as needed. The process can take some time depending on your internet connection speed. Note that additional windows might open and close during installation. Upon successful installation, the installer displays the message, Installation successfully completed. To open Project Manager, choose Launch. To exit the installer, choose Close. The installer creates the following two shortcuts on the desktop for common O3DE applications. First, we have the O3DE Editor, which is the central hub for O3DE's creative tools. To help you implement your project's goals, use Editor to place and group entities, add components, configure properties, and open supporting tools such as the Animation Editor and Script Canvas. Next, we have the O3DE Project Manager. Create and customize projects using the Project Manager tool. To add or remove functionality for your project, you can also enable or disable gems. For an introduction to either Project Manager or the Editor, please visit the O3DE website. In this video, we explored installing O3DE from the O3DE installer. Stay tuned for future videos where we'll discuss more O3DE related content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.